Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to add cosmetics to your Gorilla Tag fan game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to my Discord and get the cosmetic script. You want to get change head cosmetic, change left and right. Um, and you can download body, it's optional. I don't do it because I think it's um, really, it's kind of broken. But, um, but yeah, the main ones you need are change head left and right. So, and you want to make sure you have Photon VR installed if you don't. Um, I don't know what to tell you, you need Photon VR, which I'm going to make a tutorial on. Um, and you want to go into your player, and you want to add a cosmetic. By default, there should be a top hat. And you can adjust it to your player model if you have one. And, um, don't mind this. Uh, don't mind the text in this, that, that's a little easter egg. But, um, but yeah, you can make your cosmetic and... What and once your cosmetic is in here, so I'm gonna use the top hat for example. Um, you wanna make sure that uh you can add a custom cosmetic from like like a model from Sketchfab or something. Okay, I just wanted to see if that worked. Um, but uh yeah, you wanna make sure. So you just wanna drag this in, adjust it to your player model or whatever, and then. Uh, make sure the check is off so that it's not on by default. And then you want to go back in here and don't mind this. This is from my previous video, which you should watch if you want to learn how to make a door that opens in your Gorilla Tag fan game or currency for this cosmetic. But um, what you want to do, you want to create a cosmetic stand, I guess. It's optional. And you can make it like a mini cube, I guess. Some mini cubes, and I guess this will be enable, and this will be disable. But yeah, um, I'm gonna put some textures on it. But, uh, give this one. Don't ask why I named my yellow luck monk. But yeah, um, this is very bad of a cosmetic stand. Um. I could probably make a better one. I'm not going to right now for the sake of the time that I have to make this video. And, um, I'm just gonna adjust these real quick. I know I said I just wouldn't do that, but I guess not. Why not? Um, so we have our enable and disable button. And on both of these, you want to add components and change, change head cosmetic. Um, or you could just drag the scripts on, but, uh, yeah, both of these should have change heads cosmetic. You wanted to give the disable button, you want to put disable H on it, and I'll teach you, uh, how to add and disable H in a minute. Um, so on the disable button, put disable H, and on the enable button, you want to put the top, the cosmetic that you did, and it needs to be a, the exact name, so I remember mine was all lowercase, top hat. <clears throat> and now... Make sure is trigger is on on both of these, and um, yeah. So and the enable button should work with disable shouldn't yet. So you need to go back to your resources, photon VR player, and you need to make and you want to uh, create an empty object and enable it, name it disable H for disable head, and basically this is just going to be a cosmetic that enables um that doesn't show. Now, yeah, of course it won't show, but, um, it's just gonna be a cosmetic <coughs> that enables when you want to disable something. It's not gonna get in your way, it doesn't have a collider, and you can leave this disabled for now, but I, yeah. And then if you want to add a currency to it, then, um, watch my other tutorial. And now these should both work, and you can drag the model, so in my case it was a top hat, so you like the model of the cosmetic. So that people know what they're um, putting on, or in my case, it would be purchasing, since uh, I I made a purchasing tutorial. Uh, and yeah, so we have this, and yeah, this should work. This should work. If it doesn't, um, I'm about I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to fix Photon VR Cosmetics not working. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and goodbye.